Good morning. Today I am going to explain you about how to do PAUT calibration of boiler tube. First of all, for boiler tube calibration, we have to make same size tube uh, notches we have to prepare. So there will be a two notch means ID notch and OD notch. It should, it should be done by EDN machining. With this two notch, first we have to do the velocity calibration. After that, uh, wedge delay and the sensitivity. After that, again uh, for TCG sizing of the notches, we have to make three point TCG. And after TCG, we have to do the in the job. We have to make the encoder calibration and element check. We have to do. Here is Mr. Alam, our operator, PCN level two. So this is the calibration block we are having, which is having ID notch and OD notch. So velocity will be done with velocity calibration used when velocity of the inspection material is unknown. So velocity will be done with the ID notch and uh, OD notch. With two these two notch we are doing the calibration. Velocity point we are picking up. So once the first point is picked up. So first point we had picked up and the second point we are picking up the OD notch. So this is the second point we are picking up. So second points also we had picked up and our velocity is coming 3 to 8 1. So material velocity, I was actually range is 3 to 9 0, it is 3 to 8 1, which is acceptable. So now we are going to accept that velocity. So velocity calibration has done. So you can see here the green velocity has accepted so it has turned to green and a w for wedge delay and s for sensitivity so once sent is wedge is acceptable wedge delay is acceptable it will turn to green color and sensitivity also it will turn to green color so this now wedge delay and sensitivity is pending so now we are doing uh, wedge delay the wedge delay calibration aims to compensate for swan path variation in the wedge Base delay we have to go this drop down and we have to do the base delay here. Start this graph type it will come we have to go for next next we have to put the inputs So which delay we are doing now for this ID we are picking up ID notch. So we have to align this echo. This this is the which delay. We have to align this uh, echo in the same line. We should not exceed. It should not exceed that side or this side. We have to pick same here. So once it is not coming, again we have to do with the delay. We have to align it properly by two and four scanning. You can see it is coming nearby. It is coming. So now we are calibrating. And again we have to do for it acceptance. After calibration again we have to do it for acceptance. So once it is okay then we have to accept the, the echo is going out of our this one. We are correcting that one. calibrate so again we have to do which delay 
once it is okay we have to accept this after that our uh, wedge delay will be accepted and this this w will be turned into green so now it's okay now we are accepting this one accept once we are accepted this machine has accepted our wedge delay so now we have to do the sensitivity sensitivity calibration compensate for sound attenuation due to the wedge and the angle variation in the s scan sensitivity calibration so for sensitivity again we have to go for this drop down sensitivity so we have gone for this sensitivity stat sensitivity also same we have to go for this echo should comes in between this line next you can see we are our operator mr lm is trying hard to get the sensitivity now we are going to calibrate calibration we are putting and we are now we have to go to 80% we have to pick this echo in 80% we are picking up the echo once it is ca calibrated we have to accept this one completed this one and we will be going to accept this sensitivity we are accepted mm. and you can see our sensitivity also is ok now we are going to draw the TCG TCG time corrector gain is a method of compensating for a reduction in signal amplitude with increased range from reflector to equal area this is achieved by increasing the system gain with time so that the signal appears to be equal amplitude so from this sizing here we sizing here you go dac tcg and dgs so we are calculating tcg stat for tcg we have to pick up three points drawing the tcg this uh, this is our calibration box first point will be our id ID notch we are picking up the first point and uh, second point will be OD and the third point will be again uh, ID in third lug. So now we are drawing TCG. Point TC you can see here TCG. So first point TCG is ok. Now we are going for next point. Next point and we are giving the inputs. Next. Start. so we are now picking up the OD as a second point so we are done second point so add point so this uh, now after at point it will collect the uh, to 80 percentage you can see here 80 percent the echo should be there our second point is okay so now we will be going to for next point so for going next point we have to accept this one so next point is really B. Uh, we have to catch the ID surface in third leg. So ID surface in third leg we have to do calibration. So this gate setting we are doing. No. 
something. So this is the actually if we can see here uh, TCG this is our first point this is second point this is third point first section so we had third point we had split it into two portion portion one and section one and section two so this portion we had completed and we will accept this and we will go for next section calibration this section we had done so again we are uh, going for next section next section so next section again we have to do the TCG calibration mm -hmm. so we are doing our third point second section once it is accepted we will be accepting this accept TCG okay, accept, accept. accept so our third point is ok you can see first point second point and third third also it is coming ok so now we are going to accept this TCG we had accepted our TCG so you can see this is our accepted TCG, this is the point 0.1, point 0.2 and point 0.3. It should be always, the TCG should be always in progressive mode. Okay, so TCG should be in a progressive mode. So this is our TCG points. So by this way we are calibrating uh, PAUT. Okay, and after TCG we have to copy the same to the next probe and we have to do we have to fix this co probe in this cobra scanner so you can see this our first uh, first point first point we are catching now this is the first point our in this one it is you can see it is going beyond 80% it will be going beyond 80% get this first one okay this is first point okay okay this is our root no this is the root indication okay this is id id this is id we are catching through first point mm -hmm. this is od od which we had catched through second point so this is the second point it is going it will be going beyond 80 percentage this is our 80 percent limit so this is the second point and the third point will be our uh, id we are catching in third leg so this is the third point we are catching in third leg going to do encoder calibration for encode calibration we have to put the cobra scanner here and uh, we have to uh, we have to measure this uh, circumferential distance and our stat point we have to mark our stat point here so after that scan we have to go file wizard calibration encoder after that stat current position will be our zero this is our current position so current position it should be a zero so next and the known distance is 125 or circumferential is 125 mm so we had put 125 mm and calibrate we are we are giving calibrated after that we have to rotate our uh, cobra scanner and you can see our uh, scanning is done and you can see here also it is going it should be go 125 so you can see our uh, this one is rotating and we have to bring it to the start point after that we have to calibrate we have to reverse it you can see the reverse scan is going on and it should come zero to the start point once it reaches start point the indication should be a zero so it is uh, it has reached its the start point and the indication is zero zero point two nine so this calibration is okay we are so we are accepted this uh, encoder calibration element check we have to do for the probe so there is a line straight line it will come you can see here this is the straight line straight line if there is any break in the element check or any element is not working it will have a break and you can see here the element all element are working properly 1 2 3 4 up to 16 
so this uh, probe elements are okay by this way element check we have to do thank you for watching this video